Yo dudes, how's it going? So, as you can see, I've had a little uh, a little bit of a shear since we last uh, did a video. It's literally like a week and a half later, the van's filthy already, so I thought it would maybe be a good way to um, film a video on sort of how I wash the van. There's loads and loads of different products out there and things like that, and honestly, I was buying like bits and pieces here and there, and sort of everything was just as hard work as the other thing. So I think I've got quite a good routine going. It's nice and easy, it doesn't take very long, and it's quite efficient as well, so... Just talk you through the products I use and things like that. It is going to look like it's sponsored mine, but it's not. Um, it's literally just like I bought like a deal of products. Uh, so it's all kind of the same brand. So like I said, like a week and a half later, and already the van is absolutely caked and minging in dirt. But here we go. So let's just start with the interior first of all. The back bit on the floor, I just use a bucket and a microfiber cloth um, with like soapy water. Just give it a wipe and then that dries naturally. And the carpet on the front, I just use the house hoover. Um, I don't have a, like a specialist hoover or anything like that. And then for the plastics, uh, with like get kick marks off your feet and things, I use this. So basically, literally just spray a bit onto a microfiber towel, wipe the plastics down, wipe the dashboard down and all of that. And that is, um, it just cleans it up way better than anything I've ever used before. Also use it on the outside when the car's like really grimy. So like here below, I'll give it a spray and then like round down the back doors because the back doors always get covered. I'll give it a spray on there as well. And I'll leave it for about a minute or so and then I'll just uh, power wash it off. But that's pretty much the inside other than to get it to smell nice. I don't use car air fresheners or anything like that. I actually use like, I found it on Instagram and it was one of those household people, how to make your house smell nice. Basically, it's just some of those small tablet things that you throw in your washing machine. Um, and I put it in a little bag. I've got one in the back and one in the front and the interior of the van basically smells like a summer meadow um, with these in, whatever, obviously, whatever your preference for smells. But yeah, that works and lasts longer than any car air freshener I've ever, lasts longer than any car air freshener I've ever used. So that's all I do and I just change them out every month or so. So next, once I've done the interior and the interior is clean, I'll then move on to the exterior. I'll start with the wheels. So for the wheels, I use this. Um, you basically just spray it on dry, leave it for a minute or so, and then I've got a power washer as well, which I'll come back to, but power wash it off. I've got a special wheel brush, and I've also got a microfiber that I use specifically for the wheels, so I don't contaminate my cloths and anything else. I've got a, like a wheel microfiber, and then I've got a bodywork microfiber, and then I've got a bits and bobs microfiber, and I've got the interior microfiber, so there's like, the, the it's obviously I've got about five of each things, but it's like, it's for its own individual purpose, and then it nothing gets sort of contaminated from one to another. So, the power hose I use is this one, it's by Titan, it was about 80 quid, uh, 89 I think it was, I, I can't remember, 80 to 90 pound. Um, it's basically I looked up reviews. This was the best one for the cheapest price, so I bought this one. It does say it comes with uh, like a foam adapter thing, but that bit's absolutely crap. But the power washer itself is fine. So what I would say is basically buy the power washer and then look to get if you want to do like snow foam or whatever, look to do that separately. Um, <clears throat> two bucket method I use. So this itself makes a massive difference. Just like rinsing the sponge off in one and then sort of putting the clean water on it before you put it back on the van this is like what i would say makes the biggest difference out of everything um <clears throat> it's also one of them's got like so the yellow ones for rinsing and the blue one i've got just the, for the color so i know is for for the for the the clean water and that's got one of those mesh guards in the bottom that pull all the little bits of crap out um of the sponge and this is the sponge I use, so it's not really like a proper sponge, but it's like microfiber twiglet kind of thing. I don't know, but that works well enough, and it's got like a fly thing on the back, so that'll do. Now, mentioned before, obviously, the issues with this and the snow foam. I want a snow foam, but I haven't had a chance yet. I bought the snow foam ready, haven't used it because I don't have the right adapter to fit onto that. Um, and I don't think it's like a normal like culture adapter. I think it's a different size to that. So I haven't used that yet, but for the bucket, just use this ultimate wash and wax. And like I said, that's just in the, the, the bucket after I've rinsed it. The other one before it goes back on is in there. And then once that's done, 
again just the same brand um ceramic wax so the first time you put it on you spray it on and then you wipe it off with the towel uh so i've got quite a large microfiber towel for doing that and um, that helps dry it really quick by the way it's way easier than anything i've ever used before so if you don't have one of those i would say get one of those as well but yeah spray it on wipe it off with a towel and then after you've done that you can spray it on and then power wash it off and apparently it just stays stays in place that way the glass cleaner like i said i got all this in a bundle so again the same brand just interior exterior don't need to use a lot of it, it goes quite a long way just spray it on and just obviously wipe it off nice and straightforward and then finally for the tire shine so i bought this um and i bought this as well which is basically kind of like a, a shoe cleaning sponge if i can describe it that way don't like using that and i'm not 100 percent sure on this yet um i don't like tires to be really shiny i just like them to look like clean and like just clean basically so i've used it once and after that one use again like i'm unsure so i don't know whether I'll continue using that or whether I'll just look for another product or whether I'll just sack it off entirely, I'm not 100% sure. And so that's what I use to clean the van. So short and sweet. Um, like I said, I haven't had massive experience in different products and things like that. Uh, I got them on a deal. So I just figured I'd buy them because I had a voucher for that store anyway. Now, the only other one I was kind of using was um, it's a Demon Shine. And that didn't really seem to do a lot other than like there was like a couple of things wouldn't like scented and things like that so i definitely prefer it to the demon shine but like i said i haven't used sort of a lot of other products so i don't really know to be honest maybe in the comments you could direct me towards some some products that you rate so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video sorry it wasn't anything sort of massive happening in the caddy that will come soon and i will see you soon in a bit bye